Um, hey, I see that you, uh, uh, you've got two pieces here. I've got printed out in front of me. One is uh, from the Minnesota Post. Uh, Ten years before bridge collapse, we still need to raise public investment in the nation's infrastructure. And the other yep. was uh, want to see from the Washington Post, want to see who Republicans care about, check their anti-poor budget. Uh, would yeah. you care to riff on either or both of those? Well, you know, they're kind of related, aren't they? Um, the fact is the federal government should do everything it can to boost good jobs. And, um, but that's just part of it. Actually, investing in our nation's infrastructure not only boosts employment, but it also saves lives. About 11 years ago, the Minnesota, Minnesota I-35 bridge collapsed into the Mississippi River. It, it was certainly was a call to action for us in Minnesota, but it was a call to action for the whole country. Because, you know, you've got uh, bridges in critical stages all over the country. And not only that, water systems. I mean, look at Flint. What is that but an infrastructure disaster? Mm. And if we had the bright and proper investment, you could not just you could not only put people to work, you could make things safer for people. We lost 13 people when the bridge collapsed. 100 people fell into the Mississippi River. Um, you know, people had the people who survived had spinal fractures. Oh. Uh, horrifying. Uh, you know, you fall 65 feet from a bridge. You know, that might give you a little bit of phobia. Um, And so we'll never forget it, but uh, that's what that's all about. You know, we've got to invest in infrastructure, not only put people to work, but also save lives. On the other one, look, Republicans are going to get up and declare that they're for the working people. They're going to get up there and declare that they are for working Americans and that they care so much. Fine. Let's see who really means it. What's the best place to find out? The budget, right? Pull out the budget. You show me your budget, and I'll show you what you care about. And they care about war, war making, uh, and the police state. And we care about infrastructure, investing in people, education, and addressing climate. And that's very simple, you know. Yeah. Uh, the the progressive budget, the people's budget, is something we're incredibly proud of. Even though I'm not even the co-chair anymore, I am the uh, I'm still an active member in the Progressive Caucus. We're ably led by Mark Pocan and Raul Grijalva, and uh, but our people's budget is something we hold up as a, as a as a budget that people can get behind. Yeah, and it's important stuff. It's it's great stuff. And you're going to be at uh, Netroots Nation this weekend. Yeah, man, I'm going to be at Netroots Nation. We're going to be talking about the future of our country. We're going to be talking about the, America's role in the world, and how is it that we can move forward uh, given this uh, Trump and Trumpism. And again, it's not about one person doing bad things in the White House. It's the whole environment that he creates. And how do we envision another kind of America where people are supported, included, where our government actually is concerned about working people and where we're standing up for the rights of working people? And that's really kind of an alternative vision we're going to put forward. We believe we're right. 